In a move sparking debate and controversy, Canada is proposing new asylum rules aimed at expediting the deportation process for certain cases. Hello everyone, welcome back to Worldwide Immigration News, where we dive into the latest news and developments shaping our world today. Today, we're delving into the proposed changes to Canada's asylum rules, a topic that sparked intense debate and raised important questions about compassion, security, and fairness. The Canadian government is proposing new changes to the asylum application process that could hasten the deportation of individuals with rejected claims. Recently, asylum claims by international students have jumped by around 1,500% and concerns have been raised that these claims are being filed by students to continue their stay in Canada after the authorization period of stay. A Canadian leading news publisher reports that two weeks ago, the 2020 for federal budget subtly revealed the suggested changes, coinciding with a record number of asylum seekers in Canada. The budget quoted, to support quicker decisions and quicker removals, Budget 2024 also proposes to introduce changes to the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act to simplify and streamline the claims process. The recent reports show that 46,736 individuals have sought asylum in Canada since March of this year. That represents a 60% increase from the same time in 2023, and the government reports that the backlog is 186,000. Part of Canada's housing problem has also been associated with a rise in temporary immigration. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau declared earlier this month that temporary immigration has grown at a rate far beyond what Canada has been able to absorb, and that the matter needed to be under control. The wait periods for asylum seekers have increased, along with the number of applications. Difficulty in removing denied asylum claimants from Canada. Removing applicants, whose claims have been withdrawn or rejected, has proven difficult for the Canada Border Services Agency CBSA. As of February, the CBSA had more than 28,000 active warrants issued to failed refugee claimants. We, as a country, need to invest in the refugee determination process so that they get a fair opportunity to have their case and their fear understood and a decision made, said immigration and refugee attorney Warren Creates. To attempt to address the backlog of 186,000 asylum applications, the Canadian government has committed $743.5 million over a five-year period to the CBSA, IRCC, and IRB. The previous year alone saw the filing of over 141,000 asylum applications. The IRB has the resources to manage around 50,000 asylum claims annually, Creates stated. For the 140,000 that arrived last year, they lack the resources. To survive, they must triple their budgets and adjudications. Several new initiatives that Ottawa has announced include the suggested modifications to the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act. The Immigration Minister has lately capped the number of foreign students allowed to work, reinstated the visa requirement for Mexican nationals, and lowered the weekly work limit to 24 hours. Miller has so far ruled out altering the asylum requirements, which may make it harder for applicants to stay in Canada. However, we can expect that new asylum rules could be coming in the upcoming months to streamline the process. The debate over Canada's asylum rules is complex, touching on issues of compassion, security, and fairness. As policymakers consider the proposed changes, the question remains, how can Canada uphold its humanitarian values while also managing its immigration system effectively? Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on this developing story.